country. Welcome to a new week and welcome to another episode of Palmetto Life. Of course, I'm your host, Emily Zuhowski. First up today, if your kids are a fan of the Disney Channel show Raven's Home or the Netflix series Family Reunion, you may know our next guest. Lance Alexander, teen actor and health advocate, is using his platform for good. He recently kicked off a health and wellness campaign for youth and teens in partnership with the Boys and Girls Clubs of America. He also wrote the book From Junk to Hunk to aid kids on their health and wellness journeys and help them become the strongest versions of themselves. Lance Alexander is here with me as well as his mom and brand manager, Angela Boyce. Thank you both for being here. Thanks for Thank having you so us. Much for having Thanks us. For of course, having welcome us. to Charleston. Thank you. Um, I hope you have such a great time here, first of all. Um, Lance, let's start with your journey. Uh, tell people where how this all started for you as an actor and now you're going into wellness. Yes, so you know my entire journey being a kid from Cincinnati, Ohio, it kind of stemmed from having a dream, having a goal, and that's really what From Junk to Hunk is all about. Um, I believe I'm a person, if you don't have a dream, you know, what, what are you chasing? You gotta be chasing something. We all have aspirations, we all have things that we're chasing. Um, and so on this journey, you know, I realized what was most important was Lance's mental health and Lance's physical health. Um, and so, you know, kind of going through the trials and tribulations of my own journey, I finally realized, okay, Lance, and here I am, I'm about 15 years old, and so doing this and, and working on my goals, it's finding out, okay, what's most important? And so Lance here was about, I'm, 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 I'm trying to think back, but kind of starting this entire journey of going from junk to hunk, it stemmed from my own transformation of losing over 70 pounds wow. and realizing there's nothing wrong with Lance Alexander. All he had to do was find the superhero within. And I believe we all have that superhero within. Exactly. And now I'm passionate about sharing it with others. First of all, I'm so impressed by, you know, you're so young, but you've already done so much. And now you're really hoping to help other kids who may be going through what you went through. Um, so what is the junk to hunk movement? And, you know, if people, how do they first make that first step to getting involved with that? Right. So. Junk in the title is anything that's negative or toxic to you in your life that's holding you back from your goals. And so by clearing out that junk, you transform into a hunk, which is a stronger, better version of you. Um, and so how I love to explain it is anyone can go from junk to hunk. All you have to do is be willing to put in the work. Um, and I love to use the four step method called the IDEC method. Mm -hmm. So first it's identifying and saying, you know, you're walking up to that mirror and saying, hey, I do have a problem within this goal. I do have things I want to change. And then it's facing it head on, but it's calling yourself out. Next is determining why we want this. So it's saying, okay, do I want this because, you know, my parents said it's good. Do I want this because my friends are all doing it? Because at the end of the day, your why should be for you. And it should be something that when you go back to it, it's like, okay, my why is stronger than my will to quit. So I'm going to keep going even whenever it gets hard. I mean, the next is examining how. So it's okay, how am I going to get from point A to point B to point C? So smart goals, as we always talk about. And then lastly is C, which is clearing out the junk and becoming that stronger version of you and working towards it. Yeah, and Angela, you guys have been traveling the country, going to boys and girls clubs. Talk about this partnership with them, why them, and talk about what you've been doing. So Lance started volunteering with them around age 12 when we first got to uh, Los Angeles. Volunteering in your community is always big in my mm -hmm. family. Uh, both of my children have been recognized nationally for their contribution mm -hmm. to service. Wow. And so it just seemed natural when he started to do this and go through this journey. It's like, you know, they have a healthy life lifestyle pillar in the clubs. So it was just a natural fit for us. And he had already said to me with the number of followers that he have on social media, I don't want this to be the typical book signing, whatever, whatever is what he said. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, well, what do you want to do? And he says, I need to get face to face with my peers. So we decided, okay, let's try and partner with the Boys and Girls Club. Mm -hmm. And so it started out, we were going to do 12 clubs and then the commitment became all 50 states. Wow. Uh, as he got in the clubs and the kids, we could tell just their response to it and they were so appreciative so many questions just genuinely wanting to know how can I make my dreams come true yeah. how can I if I have goals how do I get there and so it became a no-brainer and so here we are and we're about halfway there uh, and so we have about 25 more states to go Wow that's incredible <laughs> all 50 states yes. Um, and what have you found during this tour and going to meet all of these kids and your peers what have you found from them you know, I, I feel like it's the same way that I talked about, 
you know, with Lance is finding that superhero within. I believe we all have that, right? But it's just figuring out, okay, what hurdles do we all have? You know, not everyone deals with health-related right. issues, mm -hmm. but we all deal with mental baggage. We mm -hmm. all deal with other things that we go through. So it's finding out, okay, how can I prioritize me this year, and how can I make sure that I am, you know, taking those small steps that eventually add up, and you look up, you look down, you're at the top of the staircase. So yeah. it's really finding out for each individual person what junk qualifies as for them. It's mm -hmm. gonna be different for me than it's gonna be for my mom and yeah. brand manager here. It's gonna be different for you, Miss Emily. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be different for everybody, yeah. but it's finding out what it is exactly. Yeah, and what's mm -hmm. next for this movement? Yes, yeah, so next for Junk the Hunk, we wanna go ahead and we wanna finish out yes. the 50 states, um, which, Wow, I mean, we're, we're moving. We're getting there. We're, we're at about yeah. the fourth or fifth club this week. Wow. Um, yeah, we've been moving, been yes, moving. Yes, which has been such a blessing, such a great opportunity. And then, as we talked about with me being an actor, my ultimate goal, I've written a pilot for From Junk to Hunk. Wow. So I us to get this thing on the homes, um, in the wow. screens of the homes of America. So yeah. I want to wanna get Junk to Hunk, you know, because it's one thing to be inside the walls of the Boys and Girls yes. Club. Yes. But for kids and other people who mm -hmm. aren't able to yeah. you know, attend the sessions and, and, and talk about it there with me, it's like I want to be able to spread it further and further and further. It's all about reaching more people. Yeah, that's yeah, and, and you know, and it, that's the one good thing about the book, and that's how it came about because it was never to be a book as yeah. part of this. But the request that he was starting to get online, the mm -hmm. number just got so large, mm -hmm. even combined, we were not able to respond to yeah. people. And that's kind of the last thing you want to do is to leave Definitely. people there and sitting. And so it's like, let's create this. And so now that we're out there, it's like, okay, everybody can relate to this. Mm. Um, the one thing about Lance being a young man, that peer-to-peer -peer has been very different than anything I could Definitely. ever tell one of them at my age. Exactly. And so it's like, okay, if we can get this into the homes of America, we can reach even more people. And that that that's our prayer next, is that that'll be able to happen for this movement. I think you're certainly doing it. And you can get the book anywhere you get books? We can get it uh, right now at uh, fromjunktohunk.com. Awesome. Um, and there you can also join the movement. Awesome. So it's it's just a quick small pledge and we ask you to just pledge to have a healthy lifestyle. Awesome. Yes. Well, thank you both so much for being here. You're such an impressive young man. You should be so proud. I am. Thank, thank you. So thank you both.